Hi friends, today I'm going to paint my beehives so that they stand up to the weather a bit better and um, hopefully resist rotting a bit. It'll make them last longer so I get more out of my investment. Um, before I get started on the main part of the hive, I want to show you the bottom board, which I've turned upside down here. It's actually a really good bottom board, I'm surprised. It came with a fairly cheap uh, hive that I bought off of kellybees.com. I'll put a link in the description, it was the Kentucky Special. But it's got these grooves inside that um, you sit a screened bottom board and then a, um, a mite collector goes in the bottom part so you can collect and count the mites to uh, manage your infestation level if you have mites, which, let's face it, if you're in North America, you probably do. Um, not really anywhere in the world except for Australia, maybe? New Zealand? I don't know. Anyway, what I wanted to show you is I'm going to paint... Um, all of this so that if this ends up sitting in some water, it's got a little bit more resistance. Um, what I do have to be careful of though is that I don't paint up in these grooves to prevent the um, oh, the, mount, the mite board and the bottom board, the screen, from being able to slide in nice like they, like they do. And I was also considering not painting the landing pad because it's got that texture on there from the wood that the bees can climb up to get into the hive. But what I think I'll do is I'll paint it, but I'll just use the brush and kind of splotch it so that it still has a texture. That way it's still weather resistant, but uh, it's not too slippery for the bees. Anyway, um, I'm gonna get set up and I'll be right back and you can watch me paint if you like. Otherwise, pretty much all of the good information for this video has been handed out. So, yeah. You can stop watching now or continue to watch if you like. you always buy multiple brushes if you buy really cheap ones. Look at how tiny that little plastic piece is. That's supposed to hold that entire brush on there. Anyway, I bought three of these, so I should be still good to go. Yeah. Take the rest of this off here. All right, we're all done. In the end, I got three coats on it, so it should hold up pretty well. And I forgot to mention earlier that uh, the reason it's such a kind of ugly color is that uh, it really doesn't matter what color you paint it, the bees don't care. Um, so I just went for a bright kind of flowery color, and um, what you do is you just go to the hardware store and ask if they've got any uh, mismatched paints that people wanted to return, and you can get some really cheap paint that's still high quality as far as the material goes, but uh, maybe not a very good color. Um, what else did I want to tell you guys about this? Oh, um, here, I don't know if you guys can see the texture very well, but this is where the bees land and come up into the hive. So I, after I painted it and had the paint uh, semi-dry, I took a dry brush and ran it across the surface like this to give the bees uh, some texture to hold on to. It probably won't make much of a difference to them. It was probably had plenty of texture regardless, but I thought this way uh, they can't complain too much. Not that they would. Um, anyway, yeah, so it's, it's threatening to rain here, so I'm gonna pull it under the cover down there. You can see I, I bought another tree. Um, this one's full of really nice smelling flowers. It's a red flowering plum. That smells amazing. Oh, there's, there's a little wild bee doing its thing. Soon I hope to have honey... Oh, it went away. Anyway, soon I'll have my honeybees on there, collecting nectar, gorging themselves. 
yeah, I'm just gonna yank the tarp down under the cover so that it doesn't get rained on. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.